Hey guys and welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at trying our hand at flocking. So uh, picked up some flock. I'll show you what's going on here. So I went to a uh, website called uh, Just Flock It and uh, I picked up some flock. Four colors, uh, the four main colors and uh, here they are G.I. Joe Brown, uh, G.I. Joe Sorry, the flock is kind of getting over the label, but there's a G.I. Joe Black, Blonde, and Rust. Uh, along with picking these up, I picked up some applicators. Uh, I've watched a lot of flocking uh, videos, and most of them use electricity um, to do the flocking, but uh, I did notice that there's uh, other ways to do it that are a little simpler. Just going to kind of dabble with it and give my... Uh, give myself a uh, shot at it to uh, see how it comes out uh, and it's going to be using uh, pretty much static electricity uh, just by shaking the flock in the bottle so I picked up an applicator for all four also picked up some Gorilla Glue Clear this gives you about five minutes to uh, work with uh, so five minutes work time this is uh, water resistant uh, no foam and it's crystal clear so that's exactly what we're looking for so I'll be using those items and the victim for my practice is going to be one of these old formative uh, soldiers. So really uh, simple hairline on him. Just a regular uh, formative action figure. So I'll show you how that all works out and we'll see how it comes out. This may be a complete fail or uh, might work out. So uh, let's... Uh, get prepared all right so uh, getting started here I did go ahead and load the brown into one of the uh, applicators and the idea is you want to shake this up to get an uh, an electrical uh, charge in there so that it uh, when you shoot it out it, it should uh, come out standing up with an electrical charge but uh, prepping the figure took the arms off um, it's just a matter of really just painting the glue on and then squirting that onto the head so let's uh, give it a go so got a little paper plate here to uh, keep it from going everywhere and I'm just going to use a uh, paintbrush to paint on the uh, hairline onto the figure so go ahead and get started on that put a little bit of glue on and then spread it out the idea is going to be to just get a uh, a thin coat going on across the head I don't really want to make it too thick to show you this just to give you the idea and then I'm going to click off so I can actually focus on the hairline and then we'll come back. Alright so I uh, painted it up with the glue so I'll just uh, go ahead and get started before it starts dry. It gives me about five minutes so I should have a couple of minutes left but let's give it a shot.
Just want to make sure it's fully coated. All right, I think that'll do it. Take a quick look at the results here. Of course, we're going to have to let it dry. But I think that looks pretty good. I don't know, you guys tell me. Definitely looks uh, looks the part. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and set him aside. And then we'll follow up uh, after it is dry. Um, so it's uh, five minutes working time but uh, 24 hours to fully cure, so I'm gonna just let him sit for a day, and uh, we'll see how he came out. All right, guys, stay tuned. All right, so here's the final results. I uh, just went and did a background in white so you can see it a little bit more clearly. So I'll just uh, put them on 360 and let you check them out. So, first attempt, uh, I think it came out pretty decent. Uh, wouldn't say it's as good as professional flock jobs that I've seen, but uh, does give a nice result. And it uses the uh, static uh, electricity to kind of give it that flock look where it's standing up. So, it did work out pretty well for that as you can see it's pretty much standing up I will put a link in the description below so you can uh, pick up some of this flock for yourself if you're interested in giving this a try so it's a pretty easy process you know it's just a matter of uh, painting glue as a uh, hair and then uh, sprinkling the uh, flock on there with the uh, puffer bottle to uh, give it this look so I uh, hope you enjoyed taking a look at how to flock your GI Joes or 1-6 scale figures. Um, so that's it guys. Until next time, thanks for watching.